Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today, Luminar Neo uh, version 1.4 upgrade came out and uh, the big change on that is it's added the clone tool. So I'm going to show you how the clone tool works on this new version. So I've got this uh, photograph here. This is just a demonstration and so I picked a couple of photographs where I thought I could kind of show how the clone tool works. Uh, you probably want to refine it on a on a final picture or you may want to do a smaller area but uh, it actually works pretty cool so let's go to clone tool and you can adjust the softness and the strength I'm going to just leave them at the defaults 100 where they are uh, we can adjust the size of this brush as well and it says here to click to set source and that what that basically does is that clicks this target and as you move the brush, the target will move so that it will be covering an area. Now, what you can do is uh, if you just want to uh, uh, get rid of a, a particular smaller area, like if we want to get rid of this, uh, it looks like grass right here, and we just want it to be green, this brown grass, and get some green leaves over it, we could hit a target here, and then we could go here to brush it out. And we could just, you could see we did that with just one stroke and so now it blends in so that's one thing you can do you can just get small areas like that out uh, the other thing we could do is we could actually go up here and we could actually move around and so like if we had um, an area like a field this works really well in fields where you might have grass and wildflowers and there might be a blank space in the field or there might be some trash uh, we could actually go over the field you have to be careful because it will start to duplicate the other thing you can do is you can hold down alt and reset where the target is for different areas and you may have to do that see now our targets a little to the right and when we go out to the side it doesn't have anything that it's duplicating so we have to hit alt again and pick another area so that we can uh, kind of brush it out. Now this is kind of an extreme example. I'm going to hold Alt down again. This is an extreme example. Typically you wouldn't clone this much stuff out. But we want to, if we're, if we're going to do a larger area, or if we're going to do a more significant area, and as, as I said, at some point, it, it kind of, it will be obvious it's repeating unless it's a very, 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 um, something like maybe gravel or sand would be easier. If it's a little more kind of, it's kind of almost be random and uniform at the same time. If you hit one area, and, and there's a lot of, um, it can start to be obvious because you can start to see here where it's, uh, it looks like areas are repeating. Uh, so it depends on the texture that you're, uh, that you're um, cloning and how many times you're changing the target and, and where it's moving through. So if you move away from the target, it's going to continue to kind of, um, copy whatever's on the target but then it will start to repeat the more that you do so that's something to be aware of so if we look at the original here's the original and there's the uh, there's uh, what we've cloned and we can actually go over this as well if we wanted to hold alt there and get rid of this shadow and just make it look like it's a a field and so the sky is gone so this looks like a field now when really it was there was sky in there and there's a kind of a horizon line and power lines so so that's just to give you an idea of how it works I'm going to show you another example real quick So if we look at something like this, we can actually go back down to uh, 
the clone tool here. And select a target. Now sometimes you have to wait a minute for it to to catch up initially. Looks like it's caught up. Uh, depending on how busy your machine is, it does some sort of calculations. So let's see. Let's wait a second there. So there, once it starts painting, it's it's going to paint all right. But that's something to be aware of. It it does seem to lag initially at first sometimes. So we can get rid of this as a medium strip. And see, so, so it's disappeared there. Once again, you've got to kind of be careful and sometimes move the target around and make it look real and uh, make it not as obvious that things are repeating. Uh, the more that you clone, the more obvious it will be, obviously. And, the less that you clone, the harder it will be f for somebody to detect without looking really closely. So that's how the clone tool works in the new version of uh, Luminar Neo. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.